Boston Tea Party by Pamela Duncan Edwards, illustrated by Henry Cole. These are the leaves that grew on a bush in a far-off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. Only pick the new shoots. They're the ones that get sent to the factory to be made into tea. My Uncle Bert is a great traveler. He says tea grows in places other than India, like China and Africa. Who needs tea? Where's the cheese? This is the tea that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush in a far off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. I love tea. It's everyone's favorite drink in the colonies and perfect with a nice slice of cheese. This is the king on his English throne who declared, tax the tea, that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush in a far off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. Three cheers for George III, King of England and all of her colonies. But we need more money to run the empire. I say let's tax the Americans for the sugar and tea they import. These are the colonists who cried no to the king on his English throne who declared tax the tea that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush in a far off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. First they taxed us under the Sugar Act, then they made us pay for tax for tea with the Townshend Acts. We're not going to take it. No taxation without representation. Did you hear? They sent a soldier to stop us rebelling. Let's stop using British tea. We'll smuggle to cheaper tea from Holland. Are they taxing cheese too? This is the cargo being carried in ships to the shores of the colonists who cried no to the king on his English throne who declared tax the tea that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush in a far off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. Hey look, the Dartmouth, the Eleanor and the Beaver are about to set sail. They're going to Boston with tea from the British East India Company. These are the patriots who made plans to dump the cargo being carried in ships to the shores of the colonists who cried no to the king on his English throne who declared, tax the tea that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush in a far off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. Sam and John Adams have called a meeting. Paul Revere, Joseph Warren, and John Hancock are all here. Hooray, the sons of liberty will know what to do. Did they have cheese for supper? These are the disguises worn by the patriots who made plans to dump the cargo being carried in ships to the shores of the colonists who cried no to the king on his English throne who declared tax the tea that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush in a far off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. Dressing up as Mohawks will fool the British, will sneak on board and surprise the sailors. Make sure you don't dump any cheese by mistake. These are the sailors scared by the disguises worn by the patriots who made plans to dump the cargo being carried in ships to the shores of the colonists who cried no to the king on his English throne who declared tax the tea that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush in a far off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. Surprise! They're not fighting back. I think they know the tea tax is not fair. Any cats on board? This is the harbor stained dark brown, like a giant teapot, shouted the sailors, scared by disguises worn by the patriots, who made plans to dump the cargo being carried in ships to the shores of the colonists who cried no 
to the king on his English throne who declared, Tax the tea that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush in the far-off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. We were forced to take action. The British were not being fair to us. Cheese overboard! These are tea chests, 340 in number, which bobbed <clears throat> in the harbor, stained dark brown. Like a giant teapot! shouted the sailors, scared by disguises worn by the patriots who made plans to dump the cargo, being carried in ships to the shores of the colonists who cried, No! to the king on his English throne who declared, Tax the tea that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush in a far-off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. Our plan was a success. We dumped every crate. My cheese is getting soggy. These are the soldiers who fought for freedom, remembering the tea chests, 340 in number, which bobbed in the harbor, stained dark brown, like a giant teapot, shouted the sailors, scared by disguises worn by the patriots, who made plans to dump the cargo, being carried in ships to the shores of the colonists, who cried, no, to the king on his English throne, who declared, tax the tea, that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush, in a far-off land and became part of the Boston Tea, Par Tea Party. The Redcoats are coming. We're ready for them. We tried to get the British to listen to our requests, but they wouldn't. The time has come. We want to run our own country. We'll fight for our freedom. The flag says liberty. These are the Americans, independent and free, who honor the soldiers who fought for freedom, remembering the tea chests, 340 in number, which bobbed in the harbor, stained dark brown. Like a giant teapot, shouted the sailors, scared by disguises worn by the patriots, who made plans to dump the cargo being carried in ships to the shores of the colonists, who cried, No! to the king on his English throne, who declared, Tax the tea! that was made from the leaves that grew on a bush in a far-off land and became part of the Boston Tea Party. The end.